regular monthly meeting at the Scarborough Center Center to order June 27, 2019. Roll call. Do we have Mr. Anderson in the house? Here. All right. Ben Viola. Here. Judith Cavallaro. Present. Paul Rodriguez. Here. Jason Whoop. Greeny. Here. And Mr. Carroll indicated he'll be a little uh, behind schedule this evening. All right, approval of the Hold minutes. Up. Turn on your mics, please. You got to hit the. Turn on it here if you want them. All them. right. You got to hit it to have the green light on. Didn't realize that. All right. We're going to start this over again. We're going to call the monthly meeting, regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order June 27, 2019. And let's call the roll. Mr. Greenleaf, are you present? Here. And Paul Rodriguez? Here. Charlie Anderson? Here. Ben Viola? Here. Judith Caballero? Present. All right. And Joe Carroll indicated he'd be a little behind schedule this evening. All right. Approval of the minutes. First, the May 23rd, 2019 workshop minutes. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Any comments, questions, additions, subtractions? No? Nope. All in favor? None opposed. All right. The regular monthly meeting on May 23rd. Minutes. Move approval. Second. Any additions, comments? I found none. Okay, I had two. Page eight. Third to paragraph from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Seventh line down. Uh, there is alliances are no longer involved. Mm -hmm. He is concerned instead of his is concerned. <clears throat> Top of page nine, first line. The superintendent said this may have to, and we need to add the word, be done on a street by street basis. I'm going to recuse myself of voting on these minutes because I wasn't present. So I'll ask everyone else. All in favor? None opposed, one abstention. Thank you. Okay, superintendent's report. Okay, um, you got a copy of the monthly uh, report of operations for the month of May. Uh, including the packet, our average flow was 1.5 million gallons per day, and our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We had 93% BOD removal, 97% TSS removal, for our averages of 15 and 9 milligrams per liter, respectively. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of May is also included in your packet. There were several anomalies in the flows, but all the causes were um, identified and noted. And uh, we had some PLC failures that were uh, replaced. Uh, the restriping of the driveway has been completed at the plant. I met with our insurance agent and they have received bids for our upcoming renewal. Our cost will increase from $53,961 per year to $55,866 per year. Most of this increase is due to a 4% increase in the value of our property for uh, on June 12th, Glenn and I conducted a nighty night training class over in uh, Portland Water District. Uh, we had about 25 operators attend. I've been asked to present on two panels this fall at two separate conferences. The first at the Maine Wastewater Control Association Fall Conference in September on on on, on alternative workforce schedules. Uh, our chairman, Nick Rico, will also be presenting at the, on that panel. And the second, uh, also in September, at uh, WEFTEX International Conference in Chicago on Equipment Procurement. Uh, John Milchelski, our new uh, hire, um, just passed his collection system operator's license again. Uh, we received bids for a power supply at the wastewater treatment facility. I executed a contract with du Direct Energy for a three-year contract at 5.216 cents per kilowatt hour. This includes all capacity charges. 
And the wastewater treatment facility currently has a capacity tag of zero, which is very, very good. After extended discussions with CMP and providing them with our documentation to prove that we were on generated during the various peak demand periods, they rescinded and, and uh, set our, our rate at zero. Uh, this is actually a, this price reduction. Um, this is actual price reduction from our current price of 6.124 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, which should save us about uh, eleven thousand dollars a year. On June 14th, uh, Risbury completed the installation of the drain manhole on Route 114. We started around 10 a.m. on Thursday and finished up about 6 a.m. on Friday. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the pump station was shut down at around 8 p.m. and returned to service by 5 a.m. Uh, we kept up with the flows using four separate, uh, separate four septage haulers. Uh, we did have some issues uh, draining the force name, but we developed a workaround. Uh, and we were also visited by Matt Hyde, our DEP inspector. Matt had uh, mentioned to me in the past that he was interested in seeing an event like this unfold, so I invited him out. Came out early on Thursday and spent about two hours at, at the, uh, the dig. I can't say enough about our staff, uh, who all worked through the night with no complaints. Uh, Scott and John manned the septage dump station out on Haggis. Uh, Paul managed the, the haulers out at the pump station. Rudy and Kyle provided the mechanical support, and uh, Jay oversaw the construction, and Glenn arranged all the septage haulers. Um, I did provide some pictures for you on, in the packet. Uh, just, just briefly captured some of the activities of that. Night. That's all I have with regards to the superintendent's report. Um, any questions for the superintendent? Uh, just, just to come, I'd like to thank the superintendent for his efforts with CMP. Charlie, your mic, please. I'd like to thank the superintendent for his efforts negotiating with CMP on our pricing and the saving of $11,000 per year on that line will offset the $866 overage on our insurance in our budget. So um, uh, that's good work, Dave, and appreciate it. Thank you. Cool. Um, I had a question about power failures and flow meters. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious why we can't get accurate flow if we're on generator power. For some reason, and we're working on that, uh, but for some reason the PLCs will, will reset, uh, and if not all of them. Okay. And it might be, it, it, um, these PLCs are all, uh, uh, have aged out, mm. and uh, we can't get them, we can't get replacements for them, we're budgeting for uh, replacing a bunch next year. So it, it, it's a combination of factors. Okay. We really don't know why they reset during a power outage, but sometimes they do. Thank you. All right. Um, next item on the agenda would be correspondence. I received a follow-up email. Oh, uh, DP SRF funding. Um, last month, I, uh, I presented that we did not uh, qualify <coughs> for DP funding on uh, for uh, asset management plan. I received a follow-up email this past month from DEP uh, who was able to now offer the district some funding for the fiscal sustainability plan and climate adoption plan. I'll be working with um, the engineer to uh, further develop it and bring it forward to the board to vote on once it gets to that point. Uh, Casello Organics, I uh, received a letter from Casello Organics notifying us of a $2.10 per ton price increase for sludge disposal. And this is a result of the increase in cost due to the new requirements with regard to PFAS. Uh, this is approximately a 3% increase from the $67.62 per ton that we were currently paying, that we were paying to $69.72 per ton. Um, that we are now paying. Uh, Easton Village Phase 8, uh, Goral Palmer requested an ability to serve for the proposed Phase 8 of Easton Village subdivision. A copy of my ability to serve is provided in your packet. And I did have one last thing. I did, did receive an email from a Marvin Gates um, 
Well, actually, Francine received the email she forwarded on to me from a Marvin Gates who was one of the um, uh, leaders in the, the uh, cell phone tower for the neighborhood. And he wanted to thank the district for um, uh, how we handled the cell phone and their interactions and was very pleased with the interactions of the sanitary district overall. And so we wanted to thank the board. Cool. Any questions? All right, we'll move on to old business, and there are there is none. Uh, new business. Okay, 94 Campus Drive, Main Medical Office Building. Uh, on behalf of Main Medical Center, Sedego Technics requested the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees approve approval of the proposed 100,000 square foot medical office building. The proposed office building will be located within Maine Medical Center's campus, Office Group 1. The proposed sewer system is within the boundaries of the Maine Medical Center's property. With that, the proposed sewer system will be privately owned and operated by Maine Medical Center. The requested flow is for 4,260 gallons. Uh, in summary, the proposed development is as follows. Again, the 4,260 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste, privately owned sewer system, 630 feet of eight inch gravity sewer and seven man manholes. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Uh, the flow, flow be limited to 4,260 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Uh, the project is fully subject to, to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $16.38 uh, per gallon, and is a, and, uh, which is adjusted monthly based on the ANR index. And based on this current rate, the total capacity reserve fee too would be $69,778.80. Uh, require a CCTV inspection of an installed sewer, um, and then provide the district with final plans. Oh, final plans shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permits. Utilizing detectable un underground marking tape uh, per district standards and uh, provide, fill out a sewer extension permit. Um, and finally, provide the record plans, uh, which should be geo reference and uh, CAD drawing stamp PDF copy. Move approval um, uh, with the conditions. Recommended by the superintendent. Second. All right. Any questions? Who was that? Was that you, Jason? I just had a question about the uh, capacity reserve fee. Mm -hmm. Are we current with the, the whole facility there? Is the what they're using for flows? Or? Yes, we, we are. Mm -hmm. we, we keep tra fairly good track of that. Just Any other questions for the superintendent? All in favor? None opposed. Eight Corners School at 22 Mussy Road. Uh, the town of Scarborough has requested the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees approval of the addition of four portable classrooms to the existing Eight Corners School complex at 22 Mussy Road. Each of the four proposed portable classrooms has a maximum occupancy of 20 students and one staff member for an additional, additional occupancy of 80 students and four staff members. Uh, utilizing five gallon per day per student and six gallon per day per employee, uh, the additional wastewater needs for the proposed expansion is 824 gallons per day. The current facility has a maximum occupancy of 240 students and 42 teaches for an approved flow of 1,452 gallons per day. Occupancy for the current school year was 228 students and 42 staff uh, with a peak quarter water consumption of 1,205 gallons per day for an average uh, per occupant flow of 4.2 gallons per day. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The proposed expansion is fully su subject to the capacity reserve fee. Any additional flow in excess of this um, are subject to additional approvals. The current capacity reserve fee is $16.38 per gallon. Again, adjusted monthly based on the ENR. Based on this current fee, 
Um, total, total capacity reserve fee due is $13,497.12. The true approved flow for the current facility is 1420 gallons per day. The additional needs for the proposed portable classrooms is 824 gallons per day for a total flow of 2,244 gallons per day. Any flows in excess of that, um, the approved amounts are subject to additional approvals. A sewer permit is required. A complete application and associated fee to be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed. All gravity sewers have, uh, shall have a detectable underground utility marking tape and, and professionally surveyed electronic georeference CAD drawings and stamped PDF CAD drawings uh, be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. Move approval, Mr. Chairman, and with conditions as recommended by the superintendent. Second. Any questions for the superintendent? Yes, Mr. Carroll. Dave, what did you say the um, capacity reserve fee was going to be for a dollar amount? $16.38 per gallon for a total of $13,497. Okay. Thank you. I thought what you said and what I was reading was two different things, so I'm good. Thank I you. could have goofed it up. No, I think so. Me? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Sorry, just my ears. <laughs> Okie dokies. Any more questions for the superintendent? All in favor? None opposed. All right. Budget summary. Five months budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. Move approval. Second. Any questions for the superintendent on the budget summary? Okay. All in favor? None opposed. All right. Public comments? <laughs> <laughs> Trustee comments. Charlie. Um, just want to echo the superintendent's appreciation for the efforts of the staff on that extensive repair replacement project for the drain manhole on Route 114. I think that was an exemplary project and uh, took a lot of uh, planning and coordination and it seemed to have come off very smoothly. I want to congratulate John Michalski on his collection, collection system operation license. I think that's a great step forward for him and for his service to the district. Um, I want to thank the superintendent for his efforts uh, with CMP, um, basically coming up with a way to save us $11,000 a year. I think that's admirable, and that's the kind of thing that superintendent is constantly working on in all facets of the operation to be efficient and economical. So I think he deserves a real pat on the back for that. Thank you, David. And uh, 4th of July is right around the corner, so I'd like to wish everybody a safe, healthy, and happy holiday. And uh, that's all I've got. Thank you. Judith. I'd, wish to, I'd like to wish everybody a happy 4th, and I have to say one other thing. Don't talk on your cell phones on July 4th when you're driving down the road. Watch what you do and pay attention to everybody else and have a happy, safe 4th. Thank you. Ben. Oh, I'd like to acknowledge that, uh, the staff for the work they did on 114 and Dave's uh, work with the uh, CMP. And we just seem to shine uh, every, every month. We get a little bit better on things. Cool. Paul. Oh. Uh, also, like to wish everyone a happy fourth, um, and uh, I definitely would would echo the sentiment. Um, uh, big kudos. Uh, getting a cap tag of zero is, I know it's hard work. I've done it myself, and so definitely kudos for that. And I'd also echo the sentiment that you know when our crews run a job like like we did, it's it's great value for the ratepayers. So excellent, excellent stuff. Joe. Um, so yes, again, thank you to the crews for the work on 114, and also thank you, Dave, for keeping us in the loop. 
I appreciate your updates, emails, and congratulations to John on his license. And a happy 4th of July to everybody. Be safe. And I apologize for my tardiness. I was racing here from work. So. Understandable. Jason. Uh, same comments. Uh, great job by the staff. Everybody, congratulations, John. Uh, I want to wish everybody a safe and happy 4th of July out there. And uh, I want to say uh, hello to former chairman Bud Waldron being in the public tonight. It's good to see him. He's been away for a while. Thank you. Um, I'll echo everyone's comments. Happy 4th. Kudos to John on his collection license. And kudos to Jay Scott Rudy. Carl, Paul, and Glenn, as well as Bruce Bear Brothers. Thank you very much for the hard work on the force main repair. Appreciate it. I'll entertain one more motion for the evening. So moved. Second. All in favor? We are adjourned. <clears throat> Still not a record.